In this video, I'll show you exactly how to transform your boring slide titles into strong headlines that dramatically improve the effectiveness of your slides. I'll share some practical examples and simple tricks that you can use to improve your slide titles. Sounds good? Let's jump right in. Before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you want to receive 25 creative presentation ideas to improve your presentations, then join this 5-day free email course right away. The link is in the description box below. In the early stages of my career, my slide titles used to look like this. And this is the classic. I never realized that weak titles could ruin my slides. I thought, hey, it's just a title, the real content is in the slide. It's only much later in my career I realized that a title can make or break a slide. Let us dissect some real-life slide titles and see how we can improve them. For example, let us take a presentation on climate change. What do you think about this slide title? Does it convey anything more than just the topic of discussion? No. Now, let's see this alternative. Can you see the difference? Now, which of these two make you want to watch the rest of the presentation? Naturally, this, right? Now, why is it so? The reason is, while this is an action-based slide title, this is no more than just a topic label. Remember, your slide title is the first thing your audience sees on your slides. They give the most attention to this part of your slide. By just mentioning the topic of discussion, you're wasting their precious attention. When you make your title action-based, you convey the core idea of the slide, you make it easy for your audience to follow your thought process for the presentation. In fact, there is a simple rule I follow to see if my slide titles are written right. I call it the glance test. The test is, when I switch from the normal view to slide sorter view, I want to see if my audience can read just my slide titles and make sense of the content of the presentation. If yes, then I proceed to fill in the content of my slides. If not, I work on the slide titles first so the flow is smooth. Let's go to the next example. This time, let's take a business slide. What do you think of this slide title? It's another common topic-based slide title. Just by looking at the slide title, your audience can't get a quick idea of what your slide is going to be about. Now, contrast this with this slide title. In just a matter of seconds, your audience will know exactly what your slide is about. Now, what do you think would be their next expectation? The title says, Q1 sales beat forecast by 18%, driven by online channel growth. Naturally, the content of the slide should be a chart that shows sales contribution from different channels, with the contribution from online channel being the most. The chart should also be comparing the actual performance compared to the target set for the quarter. Can you see how a clear slide title automatically guides you to include the right visual evidence to support your claim? That is the power of a good slide title. Let's take another example. Flipped classroom model. What do you think? Topic based. It doesn't convey anything about what the slide would contain. Now, a better alternative. Instead of saying flipped classroom model, when you say students learn better when you flip the class around, you convey the essence of the slide in just a single sentence. And that is the next point I want you to note. Engaging and powerful slide titles use full sentences and not just labels. According to educational researchers Allen and Neely, who presented their seminal paper titled Rethinking the Design of Presentation Slides, a case for sentence headlines and visual evidence, they found that using full sentence slide titles led to 11% improvement in test scores compared to using just topic labels as slide headlines. So, it makes sense to structure your slide titles as full sentences. I know writing slide titles in full sentences seems so counterintuitive, right? I was always used to writing the title as an afterthought once I finished creating the slide content. But the moment I started using the idea in actual presentations, I could see a significant change in the way my audience engaged with my content. I never looked back ever since. Let us explore the last idea to refine our slide titles. The idea is to use the slide titles to build an intrigue in the audience's minds. For a psychology lecture, instead of using a slide title like Cognitive Biases, which doesn't trigger any curiosity, you can write why we make irrational decisions without realizing it. People want to know the answer to the question, so they stay with you. 
The same way for a software update presentation, instead of using a drab title like new features, you can write what you can do now that you couldn't do before. Can you see the difference? There is a simple trick I use to make my slide titles more intriguing. The trick is to ask so what instead of writing just the topic. For example, if the title is revenue growth, ask so what. Then this drab title becomes revenue grew 25% due to subscription renewals. The same way instead of writing survey results, ask yourself so what, you will get a better title which says 90% of users prefer the mobile app over the website. Another example is old process versus new process. A better slide title after asking so what would be how we cut delivery time from 10 days to 3. Writing good slide titles is just one part of the puzzle. In our 10 step presentation blueprint, I give you the entire presentation creation process in easy steps anyone can follow to structure a great presentation. The course is the essence of all that I've learned and experienced in the multiple decades I've been creating presentations. The product link is in the description box below. Coming back, remember your audience scans before they listen. Make your slide titles as the summary, the hook, the insight, the curiosity trigger, just anything but a boring label. Your audience will thank you for it. If you liked this presentation, then you will really like this other presentation we created called Best Opening Hack to Ace Your Technical Presentations. I've given some simple and practical ideas that you can use in your next presentation. So click on the link you see right now on your screen and I will see you inside that video next.